This is problem number three, which is a simply supported beam with a uniform load of three kips per foot over the left hand five feet and a concentrated load of ten kips over sort of on the right hand side of the beam. The first thing we have to do using the equations of equilibrium is solve for the uh, reactions at A, the pin, and at B, the roller. And we will find that the left hand pin reaction is 13.25 kips the right hand roller reaction is 11.75 kips. After calculating these reactions we can draw the shear diagram. The shear diagram will look as such. It goes up to 13.25 kips uh, because of the left hand reaction. The uniform load of 3 kips per foot knocks the shear on the beam down over that 5 foot uh, at the end of that 5 foot section to negative 1.75 kips. It remains there until you hit the 10 kip load which pushes it down to negative 11.75 kips and then the right hand reaction brings it back up. Now because the shear diagram crosses zero uh, at some point uh, that we don't know, we'll have to calculate that. Um, so what we'll do is we will take the 13.25 kips and divide it uh, by the 3 kip per foot uh, intensity of the uniform load. That gives us 4.417 feet. Uh, the other um, little triangle that exists below the zero line is actually the remainder of that 5 foot section. So it would be 5 feet minus 4.417 feet. So that little portion is 0.583. That will allow us to calculate the areas. The big triangle has an area of 29.26 foot kips. The small triangle that's in, in uh, underneath the zero line is negative 0.51 foot kips. Uh, the uh, long skinny rectangle is negative 5.25 foot kips and the uh, last rectangle at the end of the beam uh, at the end of the, the shear diagram is negative 23.5 foot kips. So that makes our moment diagram look as such. The maximum moment is 29.26 foot kips. And again, because of the triangular shear area, that is a parabolic curve up to that point.